Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest launched her career as a Jamaican dance hall artist, but now you can catch her working on her international crossover into the American music industry on VH1's Love & Hip Hop. Let's take a look. I started singing in Jamaica. It's hard to get your music out there, to get your songs played. It's a male-dominated business. I remember no management made me grow into who I am today. I'm now crowned the queen of the stage because of the energy that I bring and my adaptability to perform for my good fan base. I can't get any bigger in my country. And so here I am. Nice. Mm. Please welcome the dance hall diva herself, Spice. Yes! Yes! yes. Hello! Yes, ma'am! Hello! Take that step yes. right there with those beautiful <laughs> heels on. Well, easy, baby. Yes, <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you. Hi. Thank, thank you for having me. How are you? Yes. Good. Have right a seat. Here. Thank you. Yes. Don't you look fabulous? <laughs> so spice. Yes. Honey, I just introduced you as the dance hall diva. Yes. But you're actually the queen. Yes. So how does that feel? And, and explain to me, what does that mean, being a dance hall queen? Well, um, basically being a dance hall queen, means that you're the top female mm -hmm. in the genre right now. So I'm the top female artist out of Jamaica right now. It means that you've reached to the top. It means that you're ahead of the game. Like, right. you know, so I'm the leading lady in dancehall right now. Right. Yes. Now. The fans crown me the queen. So good, yes. good. So you've, you've done your thing in Jamaica. You are massive. I've done a lot. <laughs> and now you're crossing over to uh, the US and that appeal there. Why was that important to you? It's important because at the end of the day, all of my work that I used to put in back in, the, you know, that I wanted to grow to an international artist. Yes, sure. yes. And so basically, if you reach the point where you're now the queen of the dance hall, mm -hmm. it means that, you know, you can't do nothing else. You're the biggest right. thing in Jamaica. So now you're ready to take it international. So right. you can get, you know, big as an artist and cross over internationally, get right. a wider fan base and grow your career. It's always... You know, for me, it's always trying to get better and better and yes, better. Yes, yes. Right. So, but how has Love and Hip Hop Atlanta helped you? It has helped me in a major way, and that's really why I made that major move okay. to come mm -hmm. on Love and Hip Hop, so I can have more fans mm -hmm. and right. a wider audience, a sure. bigger fan base. So it has helped me to, you know, make the American market right. know who the brand Spice is yes. a little better. Yes. Got it. So <laughs> we first met you um, when the cast went to Jamaica in season six. Yes. <laughs> now, I know that you were familiar with the show, but were you thinking about doing the show? I wasn't thinking about doing the show at all. But when they came to Jamaica, um, season six. Yeah. I fell in love with everything. I was like, okay, this is me. This fits okay. me. I, yes. right. I can see myself doing that. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> and so that's what really made me say, okay, I'm going to try out for the show. Yeah. And I did. They made so, you try out for real? Of course. I was like, okay, I want to do the show. They said, you sure? Uh, okay. Yeah. They sent me an interview date and I went and did the normal thing just like anyone else. Mm -hmm. I spoke, you know, talk about my background, uh -huh. my aim in coming into the music business, what I want and, you know, and basically, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Big up Stacey Chung, my manager, of course. Yes, Stacey. Yes. 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 <laughs> so in 2017, another love and hip hop uh, star you met, Cardi B, who is now massive and monstrous. She said to you, gosh, I'm a big fan of your work. Why did that make you feel at the time and then now? You know, to be honest, I was floored. Yeah. I was floored because I was there looking at her saying, oh, she inspires me. Mm -hmm. I look up to her as, you know, everybody knows her past and what she used to do. And yes. then we see this girl just, so I'm like, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I met her, for her to be saying to me, you're my inspiration, I love you, wow. and I'm a fan from day one. And when she started singing my yeah. song, yeah, yeah. Yes. she wasn't bluffing. Right. right? Because I didn't even remember those songs. Right, 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 right. <laughs> You know my songs? I don't know. Right, right, right. Wow. She started singing songs I didn't even remember. Right. Fight Over... Yeah, I do remember Fight Over Man because I sing it every day. But when she went to Rude Boy Love... Yes. Mm -hmm. You knew. I was... She was a real fan. She real was fan. a real fan, and I was re very elated. So yes. big up Cardi B. You're yes, right. yes, but, yes. Real quickly, you had a single, um, So Me Like, mm -hmm. that hit 77 so me like seven million views on Sometimes. YouTube. I know when you was doing it, you didn't think this was going to be. How I did know. that make you feel, though? It makes me feel good. I'm the first female artist to gain so much views on a solo song yeah. out of Jamaica. Yeah. So that makes me feel good. Hence, the and, reason you're the queen. And <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to tell you that Some Like It is that big record that really 
break me back in 2014 because I've been in the business from 2003 with Fight Over Man. Mm -hmm. But 2014, you know, that gave me like a big comeback. Yes. It was a big comeback yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah. And that song meant a lot to me because it's like I spent so much with the production. Mm -hmm. I did the videos three separate times. Mm. I edited three separate times. I went through a lot. Yes. You put so, in the work. Yes. yes. So for it to gain right. so much views. This is the reward. I'm yes. happy. This is the yes. reward. When we come back, we'll find out about some statements Spikes made that may have upset some in the Caribbean community. We'll get her answers after this. <laughs> We are back with Dancehall Queen and Love and Hip Hop cast member Spice Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So before the commercial, we uh, talked a little bit about some things that you may have said. Uh, you said you outgrew Jamaica, or outgrown Jamaica, and it seemed to have upset some people in the Caribbean community. What were you trying to say? Um, basically, I was trying to say I can't get any bigger in my country. Yes. Yes. I'm now the queen of the dancehall. There's no other title for you to get. So I've reached the top of Jamaica. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I'm ready to come on the international market and try to get bigger here in America. Basically, a lot of people, you know, felt offended like I was saying, I forget about Jamaica. Yeah. That's not the case. I don't know what your past is like, but you used to live with your mother or right, something? Right, absolutely. You grew with your mother. Yes. She gave you a bedroom, right? Yes. Right. Or something. You grow with your siblings. Yes. yes. Stuff like that. You reach to a point, you become a teenager. Yes. Mm -hmm. You probably go to her or an adult, I'm yes. going to say, you, you know, and say to her, Mom, you know, thank you for everything. Yes. I found a boyfriend. Right. Yes. I'm going to move out. Yes. You know, <laughs> it therefore means you've outgrown that space. Right. Yes. Does it yes. mean that you don't love your mother anymore? That's right. You're going to leave mama. And that you don't go back. Right. Leaving mama, right. but, right. You always but can come does back it home. mean that you don't love your mother yes. anymore? Right, not at all. That's you're gonna it. visit your mom all the time. You're gonna go back, but you're gonna make a better life. So mom can have a better life. Right. Yes. I'm going to make a better life so my country can look good. I represent Jamaica everything. I'm Jamaican by blood. Absolutely. Right. So I love my country. Yes. But a lot of times you say a little thing and they might feel offended. I understand. Fine. Mm -hmm. But I did not mean mm -hmm. it in, it in every, any other way. Yes. So, I'm just trying to say I'm ready to get bigger somewhere else. And yes. they should respect that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. First of all, I want to congratulate you on your new charity, the mm -hmm. Grace Hamilton Women's Empowerment. Yes. yes. Um, you're launching May 27th. Yes. And I'm excited. I'm I'm passionate about that. Good, mm. good, good. Why was it so important for you to do that really quickly? I mean, um, I just wanted to empower women, in, in, especially in my country. I know that there's a lot of battered women, yeah. violence and stuff like that. So I want to represent. I have a platform to do so. Yes, so I'm absolutely. happy now to represent and empower women. Good, absolutely. good. You can catch her on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta Mondays on VH1 at 9 p.m. Eastern.